auto file. And this is the protocol buffers uh, file that uh, we have. Um, and the question of where to put this file is actually an interesting question. Because as we said, it can be shared between several services that use this file. Uh, some, uh, so if you have a, what is known as a mono repo, meaning one repository, everything is there, you usually put it somewhere up, up there that everyone is knowing where to use it. Sometimes there is a repository just for the protocol buffer definitions and use uh, Git submodules to get it to your project. There are many variations of where to place this uh, weather.proto. In our case, uh, we're going just with the simple way of putting it with the Go code because we're just going to do it here. Um, so, protocol buffers have seen several iterations and the current iteration is protocol buffers version three. Uh, so, uh, we specify that this is the syntax. So, uh, the, the protocol buffers itself support several basic types like integers and floats. Uh, for timestamps, uh, uh, timestamp buffer. Okay, so we need to import it. It's coming with the... Uh, It's coming with the protocol buffers when you install the protocol buff uh, compiler, but you need to import explicitly in your code. And then you need to say, uh, what is the package that is going to do it? And in the newer version of protocol buffers that we're going to use, uh, we need also to, to give an option for the Go package. So in protocol buffers, there is options and options are for specific languages. So you can have options for uh, Go, for Python, for Java, for <coughs> all of the languages in the same protocol buffer definition. And the Go compiler looks only of, on the Go options. So we said the Go package is uh, this one. So th this is the short name and this is in the newer versions, you also need to specify the long name. And I'm calling it PB, which for protocol buffers, uh, some people like to give it a more explicit name. So this is going to be uh, in a directory called PB here. All right, so this is our code so far. Uh, and we, we're going to have another subdirectory, uh, which is called PB. This is where the files are going to get generated. And now we're going to define our types. So as I said, types are called messages. Uh, and you can write comments to to explain what is going on. Okay, so uh, this is a message of the value. And it, it looks very much like the definition of the value struct, um, right? Uh, so this is our definition, right? So float 64 is double and unit is a, is a string. So, it looks very much the same, only that it's using the, the C or Java way of, of declaring type. So we first have the type and then the name. In Go, we first have the name and then the type, right? Um, I've worked in a project where uh, it was a mix of Go code and C code and C++ and I was at one point doing the wrong thing on every file. So I had to yeah, I was writing the type first in Go and then, and then we have message, uh, the record. Uh, and we have, here we have Google dot ah. Okay, 
and then we have a string the station and then we have value and then we have the rain and notice we, we give uh, we assign the, the order of the fields and in protocol buffers you never delete fields you just add them so every time you want to add something or change something you just increment the number you have more and more you can uh, pass value you can pass messages with only a few of the fields populated and protocol buffer is op optimizing that so over the wire or storing on a file it's going to store only the fields that have a value but not uh, fields that are missing so 